I'm going to get right to the point. This message is for Colby Brock. And to be honest, you know, this has been weighing down on my mind for a while. I just needed time to channel information and get as much information as I possibly could about the situation so that way I could effectively relay it to you, okay? So if you don't know who I am, yes, I know I'm a nobody, but essentially I'm a psychic medium who specializes in the paranormal. Um, so the fine art medium, I'm called the fine art medium because I can draw what I see and I can automatic draw and yada, 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 that's not important. The message I have for you is more important than who I am. But so I know of you because of meta psychics. Um, they do a lot of videos on you guys, like reactions and stuff, on both Sam and Colby. But so, that is how y'all were put on my radar. And I couldn't help but notice through some of their reactions, and I've only caught a few, so it's not like I've binge-watched every single, you know, video that you guys put out. I've only seen maybe like three or four, and so I don't know too much about you guys which is probably better because I don't want to know too much information when I have to channel information. Because again, I'll question, is it me? Is my brain being smart and remembering things or is it spirit? So I actually like to stay out of watching a lot of the paranormal um, content that the paranormal creators put out. And it's because of that reason. It's not because I think I'm better than everybody else. Blah, 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 blah. No, it's specifically so when I do get information, it's like validation for me to know that I'm not crazy. Okay, so the message. And I'm going to be looking up and down at my notes because when I was channeling, I had to write all this stuff down because it comes in so fast that I could forget and miss stuff. And I didn't want to miss anything. But... You know, if you see this, cool. Guys, please share it to them, to Sam and Colby. I know if one sees it, the other will see it. And this, again, is for Colby Brock. He needs to see this. And even if he's the only one who sees it and nobody else gets to see it, I don't care. I don't give a shit about the views. I could give two shits, okay? This is important. And the thing is, I can understand the situation he's in because I myself have lived it, and somewhat am still living it. So I know exactly how he's feeling right now in terms of the situation spiritually, if that makes sense. It will make sense when I go through my notes. All right, so headaches. You're getting headaches because, you know, so at first I was going to react to the Conjuring video with Matt Reif and I forget who else he did that video with. Um, and I did make that video already. It's on Patreon. And so when I was trying to get information for that video, I kept getting Colby, Colby, Colby. It just, no matter how hard I tried to focus on The Conjuring House, I kept getting Colby. So I'm like, okay, what's going on with Colby? And for a while, I suspected something was going on. But there's a lot of stuff going on in general with the paranormal community, like with Twin Paranormal, um, Oh My Gosh, as everyone knows, um, that video kind of blew up. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of y'all that have situations going on, and I'm going to go through as many as I can to help you all. But right now we're focusing on Colby, and like I said, I was trying to focus on that video, and... 
my guides made it most apparent that Colby needs to be the primary focus right now. So before I get any other videos, I'm kind of going out of order. Oh, fucking well. Um, um, yeah, I'm just, I guess I'm going out of order now because I'm going based off of what spirit is telling me is important. But Colby, are you having headaches? Because I'm having headaches and it's a weird kind of headache that I normally don't get. And every time I tried to channel and then your name would come up, I'd get a headache. So headaches. And if you're not getting headaches, it could just be like the negative energy that's within your body. And I know, I am fairly certain that you, my good sir, are pretty much a negative energy attractor. But I'm also getting weird feelings in my ears. I don't know how to quite describe it, but it's like, you ever, like when the pressure changes in your ears are gonna pop and they pop and it has to do with the pressure outside or the weather or you're in high elevations or whatever. It's like that feeling, except they're not popping and it's annoying. Also, the other way to describe it is you ever drive on the highway and you have one window open in your car and you're driving really fast and it's like that weird tunnel-y, like, pressure-y feeling that goes through your ears. It's like that, but not as strong like if you were driving fast in a car. But it's very similar. So I don't know if you're feeling that or it could just be me um, feeling that energy and that's how it's affecting me. Nausea. Are you getting nauseous? I suspect you might be. Um, your stomach. If you're having stomach issues, so nausea, upset stomach, your solar plexus, well, technically, sorry, that's part of the problem. The I don't even know what to call it, but your solar plexus, your sacral chakra, and your root chakra are, are all blocked. And we're going to get into that. Do you feel heaviness? Like, more and so breathing. And it's kind of like, you also feel dizzy. And also, I started feeling a burning sensation on the back of my neck, strangely. So, either you're feeling that, or to me that symbolizes that you have a negative attachment, which I'm very certain you have a negative attachment. Tired. Are you feeling tired? I suspect you're feeling tired. Or some kind of, like, fatigue. Whether it's somewhere in your body. Or it's your entire body. But I, su I suspect that you have a fatigue thing going on. Um, illness. Are you getting illnesses more often? As in, are you getting little colds? Are you having stomach issues more often? Headaches more often? Like... An ailment in your body is happening more often. Now, I do know about your um, recent health scare situation. Um, I did see that. Um, so I do want to make that known that I am aware of that. But aside from that, I'm saying like, are you noticing that you're getting sick more often? Um, strangely, my left wrist is kind of achy or throbby. Now it could be because I am barreling through all these videos and, you know, I'm working my butt off and it could just be me, you know, typing and just my wrist being sore, but I'm not left-handed. I am right-handed. So to me, that is strange. So let me know. Let me know. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Sometimes when I get these messages, Sometimes spirit likes to give me metaphors or clues and bits and pieces and sometimes they're not like direct and blunt. You know, does that make sense? It's not like as a matter of factly, if that makes sense. So instead of like, ooh, I see a piece of paper and it literally means a piece of paper, it could literally mean some kind of weird metaphor for something else. You know what I mean? Okay. So you also have to take these um, into consideration. Nightmares, are you having nightmares? If you're having nightmares, this has to do with the negative energy, but also the attachment. Um, 
Okay, I also see Amanda trying to protect you, but it's not enough because you're absorbing negative energy very quickly. So I see her like, now I know when she goes on investigations with you, it's like she'll work on protecting everybody in that space. But this kind of feels like it's more than that. As in, it's kind of like outside of your recording and your investigations. It kind of feels like things are going on outside of that. And she's like, um, yeah. She's trying to protect you. And maybe you have asked for her protection or assistance in something. But I feel like, um... She's, she has tried to protect you in the past outside of what is being recorded on and being shown to people on YouTube. Um, yeah, negative entities are attracted to you like a magnet. The Conjuring House, yeah, where the spirit box said Colby kill. Can you please, like, move something? Not Colby. Isn't that silly? Really? Kill? Are you a bad spirit? Kill Colby? All. That is your first uh, hint there. But you might notice a pattern of similar encounters where you may be addressed by the spirit box or you're having more encounters yourself. Um, once in a while, enough for you to notice electronics around you. Are they acting up? I suspect that, and it could just be, you know, on investigations when you go places, shit's happening. But Spirit specifically is showing me, like, even outside of that, I don't know, like, glitchy phone or glitchy electronics or glitchy battery or something. Something's not right. Um, they like your trauma, as in the negative entities. Um, they use it against you. And trauma can be things such as, like, um, and I don't like putting people's business out there, but things that happened to you in the past, and it could be perceived traumas, so things like growing up, if, you know, a parent didn't raise you the way that you specifically needed, because every child is different, you can perceive that as trauma if that, if that makes sense, you can watch my empath video if, you know, that is confusing. But um, any kind of trauma, any kind of perceived trauma, again, I don't want to get into details because that's your business. Um, negative entities are attracted to that large collection of residual energy or negative energy that's trapped inside your body. And it's trapped inside your body because your, your bottom three chakras are blocked. And, yeah, your energy is not being released or transmuted. And you are a food source to them. Um, your third eye is being suppressed. And it's, keep, it's keeping you from connecting and getting help. Because I keep seeing an entity going boing, boing, boing. But, like, at you, obviously, on your head. You have no boundaries or protections set in place to protect yourself. Um, not just you, but Sam as well. You guys are playing with fire when you get into these investigations and you're not properly protecting yourself and you're not properly cleansing yourself afterwards. That is a problem. And I will show you. I have a little drawing for you. So... The reason why I say it's very similar to the entity that I had been dealing with as my own attachment. So, this thing, I'm just going to show you the picture I drew because I don't know how else to explain it, honestly. And it's hard to see with my ring light. But this thing, right here, it's like all black and shadowy, but it's like squirming and stuff. Yeah, that's my notes. Um... Yeah, it's just like going like this and it's negative energy and it's very shadowy but squirmy and ew, but it is a parasitic type of thought form, which is a thought form 
that is comprised of lots of negative energy being consolidated into one thing. And that has to do, again, with your body not releasing that energy. And eventually it created that clusterfuck. I'm going to call it a clusterfuck because that's what it is. I'm sorry. But that's what it is. I mean, um, if, you, if you're having anxiety, it's causing anxiety and stress. And that's part of the heaviness I'm feeling. Um, again... What I'm about to relay has to do with, I don't know if it's figurative or like, you know, exact, but I was seeing a long dark corridor kind of hallway. I was seeing a black door. I don't know why. Now, sometimes I'm in a freaking city, so things can um, piggyback off of other spirits, but for whatever reason, I do not know why, but I saw a cartoon version of a deer. Like maybe more of a baby deer. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Maybe you know. I don't know. Like I said, sometimes the things I see, it's like um, it either pertains to my experiences or the person I'm reading for. So if you know what that means, I need to freaking know what it means. If, if you know what it means, let me know what it means. But again, it could be a metaphor for something. And I think it, if it's a metaphor, it has to do with purity in the terms of your light, like, because you're an attractor. Um, I was seeing this large butterfly. I don't know what that means. I kept seeing a large white butterfly. Again, could be, I'm thinking that's a metaphor. As I was searching for you on the astrum for your higher self, right, um, to get some more information, I came across, and this is freaky deaky, um, somebody or something that looked like you. At first, I was like, oh, wow, that was easy to connect. However, very quickly, I learned it was not you, and it was an entity pretending to be you. And the second I felt its energy and I realized it wasn't you, it pretty much lifted its facade and shape-shifted with its face getting a little bit bigger and more um, dramatic features. Its eyes got bigger and bulged out. It's like the outline around its eyes were like it faded to a dark like black color. Um, the skin faded to like a really pale, almost like bright white color. It was creepy as fuck. Um, and then, you know, as I was seeing this, the stabbing in my head, like that pain got worse. And then after that, it turned into a complete shadow. Then I feel this strange sensation on my crown chakra. And that's when I see this old lady with short cotton ball fluffy hair. And she had like a small wrinkly face. Gave grandmother vibes, but I don't want to give that label because when I'm not sure about like the relationship, I'm not going to give labels to it. But again, I don't know if it was a grandmother. And it could be, again, it could be somebody in the area, it could be family, it could be anybody, honestly. So if that sounds like somebody you know or knew, let me know. Same with your friends. The pain in my head is a weird pain. And it's not like when I get like a headache or a migraine, it's a different stabby pain. And it's usually the stabby pain I get when entities are going nyeh, 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 and stabbing me in the head. It's also another form of a psychic attack, but that's what they do to me when they're trying to stop me from doing something. It's them going, like, stabbing with their claws. Has anyone said they thought they saw you? So, like, let's say you're at somebody's house, or they were at your house, or wherever, right? And they thought they saw you, but it wasn't you. Because there's an entity that keeps pretending to be you, because every time I keep trying to go and connect... Same thing keeps happening. It's like there's this thing that pretends to be you, but it's not you. It gives very trickstery, like, yeah, vibes. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Or have you or your friends had a dream with a thing in it that looks like you, but it's not like they think it's you, and maybe they're like, oh, I had a dream and you were in it. Mm, I'm going to say that wasn't you. 
Okay, so while I'm editing this, you know, quick insert here, I finally figured out what it was. What, so that thing that kept pretending to be you that wasn't you, it's the thought form. And so because the thought form is made out of fractals of you and your negative energy and the negative energy you're picking up, it's going to take the shape of you, but it's not you. Does that make sense? Because it's fractals of your energy, it's gonna look like you because that's where the fractals came from. And because it's like negative energy type stuff, that's why it has like a negative look to it. And that's not saying you're negative, it's the emotion you put out, that negative response. Everyone has a negative response to, you know, something that triggers them in any kind of way. But that's what that is. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> but, you know, as I had been writing that part down in my notes, again, stab, stab, stab. So, okay, another thing. Your throat chakra is being overused right now because your body is trying to expel that trapped negative energy, and so it's coming out your throat. It's got to come out somewhere. In the past few days, my throat started to hurt, and I'm like... What's going on? I better not be getting sick. But then it went away after I would, um, what the heck do you call it? After I would ground myself, that pain would go away. So I know it's energy. So yeah, your root, your sacral, and your solar plexus chakras are blocked, which is keeping you from grounding yourself and releasing energy effectively. That's why, again, it's trying to come out your mouth, out your throat. So if you just feel like singing more often, that would explain it. Or if you're noticing like gassiness, I know that might be TMI, or like acid reflux or stuff like coming up your throat. So it could be in the form of like acid reflux. That could also explain my sore throat too. Cause sometimes when I get a sore throat, it could deal with like acid reflux but it's still trying to push out stuff coming out. And sometimes it comes in the form of indigestion, acid reflux, burping, because it's trying to dispel that energy. So yeah, if you feel like singing more often, for me, I had to sing before I could do my channel. So I feel like singing is important to you and it might be your form of meditation or just like, your body trying to expel that negative energy. It's trying to get it out somehow. And so singing might be a way your body's trying to get you to do that. If that makes sense, let me know. But like, if you ever feel like you just have to sing out of nowhere, that would be why. Another thing I saw was a pentagram, but then it like shifted into an octogram. I don't know what that means to you. I feel like you might know. Maybe you were doing things related to occult practices or paganism. I don't know. Or if it was something someone did towards you. Um, I feel like you might. Uh, I feel like you might know the association with that. Um, again, these are images that I'm being shown, and to me, when I see stuff like that, that gives me like occulty vibes and like I don't know practices of the such so maybe you're involved with that or you know someone who is involved or you were around that kind of stuff but not, not necessarily involved but like watched it or maybe you got involved like recorded it for a video I don't know but there's something going on with that all right so there's some things you can do to help yourself with this and I'm going to lay it all out. All the things I recommend, like um, products and stuff, I will have linked down below for y'all. And anyone else who's watching who needs help, you can also, you know, use these products. And if you need further information, I highly recommend listening to the protection episode on Lights of Midnight podcast, where Chas and I literally give y'all two plus hours of tips of protection so listen to that that'll that'll help you okay so holy oil highly recommend it you can get it off Amazon you can get it off Etsy probably get it from a church but you need holy oil 
Why? You can put it on all your chakras, all of your chakras, you need to do that, especially your root chakra, your sacral chakra, and your solar plexus chakra, and your third eye, because that's kind of cloudy right now, and the entity's also stabbing you in the head. So you need that for sure. You need crystals. If you don't have any, please get some. This is black obsidian. You need black obsidian. You also need black tourmaline. I highly recommend getting two of each. Why? So when you cleanse them and charge them, you have a backup. So I highly recommend black obsidian, black tourmaline, rose quartz, and clear quartz. Okay, black tourmaline and black obsidian helps put a barrier against negative stuff. It is the protection. Now your clear quartz and your rose quartz will A, amplify, but also absorb. It'll help absorb any negative energies. And when, if you can meditate, okay, I highly recommend meditating with a clear quartz crystal. I like to meditate with a rose quartz. Well, I'm an earth, I'm an earth element, so I mean, that helps me because I'm clairsentient. So as I'm editing, Spirit's like, um, he's a Capricorn. And I was like, really? I had to go in and double check, right? Because, you know, was it be me being smart or was it Spirit, you know? Anyway, I fucking knew it. That's why you're an energy attractor. You, my good sir, are an earth sign. And I bet you, I bet you, you're probably empathic and you're probably clairsentient and you're picking shit up through your hands and your feet. And that's why you're having issues with your root chakra in your, I'm sorry, that's aggressive. And that, okay, I'm sorry. I am having like a freaking reading rainbow moment of validation as I'm editing. Anyway. That's why you're picking up all this negative energy. I'm losing my shit because validation after validation just keeps coming in. But yeah, Capricorn. So meditate with the rose quartz, please. Ooh, I got really fucking dizzy. I just got really dizzy, dude. But you can try rose quartz, but clear quartz will work pretty well. And when you meditate, you're gonna focus all the negative energy in your body and put it in that crystal. Another thing you can do is you can do herbal baths. If you have a bathtub, you're going to want to obviously fill it up with hot water and you can use Epsom salts or you can go and get um, mixtures with herbs and stuff already in it. I'll link where I go in the specific product that I use. And no, I'm not affiliated with Art of the Root, but you know, I'm obsessed with them. They got really good products. 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, they sell candles. They sell the um, the bath salts and stuff that you can use for your baths. I'm not kidding you guys. They are the holy grail when it comes to protection and getting the products that you need. But so yeah, highly recommend doing a bath cleanse and you're going to sit in there in the bath water and you're going to focus getting all that negative energy out, Okay. If I were you, I'd probably do it once a week. If you can. If you can't, um, you're you're going to want to do this anyway, but you're going to need to ground yourself outside. You're going to need the earth for this. Touch, touch a tree. Just touch a tree. I'm not kidding. Put your hands on a tree, a nice tree, not a dead one, a nice tree, and pretty much funnel all the negative energy through your hands into the tree and the tree will transmute that negative energy into positive energy. And then as you do this, start bringing up energy from the earth, good positive energy from the earth up through your root chakra, up through your hands, up through your crown chakra to flush out all the negative energy. And again, put through the tree, and it's kind of like a wheel, if you if you will. <laughs> and you're just going to flush out all that negative energy. And you're going to want to do that often. Because, again, you're a negative energy attractor. I know, I probably sound like bananas right now. I'm sorry. But I'm not kidding you. Ask Amanda. She'll probably agree with me. I think. Hopefully. I don't know. I feel like she would. Um, 
I'm trying to think, what am I missing? Keep singing. That'll help you. Um, it is one way to release energy for you. And um, just make sure that you don't overdo it. But if you're grounding yourself in the methods I told you, you should be fine. Traumas. You got to work on your traumas. Any traumas you have, that should be like your first step. Working on your traumas, healing yourself from past traumas or any kind of traumas is the key step because then you're removing the anchor. You're removing the source of its energy because it's working on that to create a negative response, which again creates negative energy and food for it to feed off of. So yeah, that should be like one of your first steps. Cleanse your space with Sage Impala Santo. You need to cleanse your space often. I sound like a robot. Um, do not sage your space without Palo Santo. Why? So if you sage by itself, what happens is sage will put a void in the energy. Why is that a problem? Well, when you put a void in the energy, any kind of energy can fill it back up. Whether that's the previous negative energy or new negative energy or just chaotic energy, any energy can fill it back up. That's why you need Palo Santo because Palo Santo will insert the positive energy back into the void. That's what you want. So please make sure you are saging and Palo Santoing your space regularly. Probably for you, since you're an attractor, maybe once a week and then you can probably move to bi-weekly and it should be good to do it that way. But you're gonna have to do that. Now, depending on how often you're traveling to these spots for investigations, before you leave your investigation and get into your vehicle, cleanse yourself. Not only that, you're going to want to cleanse your equipment. Cameras, phones, spirit boxes, everything you had with you during your investigations, cleanse those. Cleanse them before you get into the vehicle, or at least before you get home, please. You can use Sage and Palo Santo if you want to. I know like breathing in the smoke, not great for you. You can also use this Sage Spray by Energy Mindfulness. I take this with me to hotels because hotels have the fire thingy that where if smoke triggers it, it'll go off and you're in big trouble and you don't want to have to pay for damages because you flooded a hotel room. So it doesn't have to be this specific brand. It can be any kind of Sage and Palo Santo spray, okay? I use this in the hotel at the um, one convention I went to because a ghost bitch tried to follow us back and I kid you not, we sprayed it and then all of a sudden we see 444 everywhere. True story. Don't believe me. Well, uh, well I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I, I can't even technically fucking prove it anyway. Let's just say it works. Okay, it works. Again, doesn't matter what brand you use as long as it has those ingredients in it. But you're going to want to cleanse yourself with that. Again, holy oil, you can still use. Um, you can use it during your investigations. After your investigations, if I were you, I'd use it during your investigations with your crystal, like, bracelets and stuff. Have your um, black tourmaline or black obsidian on one hand and hematite on the other. Hematite will transmute it into positive energy, which you want. Ash. Ash works great. And the ash from, like, Palo Santo incense work or just Palo Santo wood or sage, the ash from that is great. You can use that in... Um, a whole f wide variety of things. I use it in my candle work. I have been known to, when I meditate, if that's all I have and I don't have my holy oil, I'll put it on my third eye. I know, I look like a weirdo when I do it, if I'm out, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Let's say you're in a hotel and you don't have a bathtub and you just have a shower and you're having an attack. This has happened to me and I didn't have my crystals, I had to send my fiance to get me a bag of ice. What is ice? Ice is water. Water absorbs energy. So focus that energy, that negative energy into the ice. 
right? Ice has memory because it's water and it'll hold that energy. You can do that if you're like, you know, don't have anything on you. And a lot of places it's free. So yeah, meditation, just in general, meditation would be good for you. Yeah, so I don't know. Guys, please share this to him. I know this is probably gonna be a long ass video, but I'm trying to help here. I don't want anything bad to happen to him because if he doesn't start cleansing himself properly, he's going to get very ill, okay? So, Colby, please, even if, you know, you don't believe the first part of the video, just know that you need to cleanse yourself and release that energy or you're going to get sick or sicker and you do not want that. And I'm saying this out of, you know, safety, out of respect for you. I just want you to be successful, happy, and healthy. That's it. That's all I ask for. That's all I ask for anybody. That's all I want. That's the whole point of this channel is to help as many people as possible. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see y'all soon. Peace out. If you like these types of videos where I react to other creators and or give them messages from spirit, I highly recommend watching the Omar oh Gosh video where I gave him a personal message from spirit and his mother. So yeah, check that out.